Write down everything you can about this object, please. I'd be giving it a shot. Uh, we know this object is moving right and speeding up. Write down what you can about this object. It's moving right and slowing down. Write down what you know about this object. It's moving right. The velocity tells us which way we're moving. What does it mean if the acceleration is zero? Well, we know that if the acceleration is parallel to the velocity, we're speeding up. And if the acceleration is anti-parallel to the velocity, we're slowing down. Well, then what's left for when the acceleration is zero? That must mean we're neither speeding up nor slowing down. The only thing left is to think that now we're neither speeding up nor slowing down. That means we're moving at constant speed. Lesson. If the acceleration is parallel to the velocity, you're speeding up. If the acceleration is anti-parallel to the velocity, we're slowing down. We already knew that. And if the acceleration is zero, you're moving at constant speed, neither speeding up nor slowing down. An acceleration of zero means that you're moving at constant speed. An acceleration of zero means that you're moving at constant speed. Okay, this is something that you really should already be familiar with if you're at any distance into your physics course. If this was not totally obvious to you, you want to make some clear notes and practice this idea. It's crucial to know that when the acceleration is zero, you're moving at constant speed. Remember, the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. So notice, if something has an acceleration of zero, does that mean that it's motionless? Absolutely not. The acceleration does not tell you um, whether you're moving or not. The acceleration does not tell you which way you're moving, and the acceleration doesn't tell you whether you're moving. That's what the velocity does. The velocity tells you which way you're moving, and if the velocity was zero, that's when we wouldn't be moving at all. The velocity tells you whether you're moving. If the velocity is zero, you're not moving at all. An acceleration of zero does not suggest at all that you're not moving. Because remember, acceleration just tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. In one dimension, the acceleration just tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. It doesn't tell you whether you're moving or not. Um, if the acceleration is zero, it doesn't mean you're not moving. It just means that you're not speeding up or slowing down. Uh, you're moving at constant speed. Or, of course, um, you could be motionless uh, at constant speed. That's not the case here, though, because we had um, a velocity, so this was definitely moving. Write down everything you can about this object. It's moving up. At constant speed. Write down everything you can about this object. Do we know that this is motionless? No. We have no idea whether this is moving or not. All we know is that it has a constant speed. It could be moving with constant speed, or it could be motionless with a constant speed of zero. Um, obviously, if it's motionless with a constant speed of zero, that's not a really very interesting situation, so we're not going to deal with that very much in these videos. But anyway, an A of zero does not mean you're not moving. It just means that you could be moving, but if you are, you're moving at constant speed. The acceleration does not tell you how you're moving. It just tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down or neither, moving at constant speed.